In this segment, we are talking about which category should you leave out when you have a categorical variable? So how should you choose the baseline category? And the options are choose an obvious default category as the baseline. And we'll see an example choose the most common category as a baseline. Or if you're trying to answer a specific question, choose the category that helps you most in setting up the comparison to the baseline category. So choose the default category, the obvious default. And that is the case when we look at the three different websites designs at three different websites design the current one and two alternative new versions the obvious default category is the current website design because presumably two alternative new versions are trying to improve in some sense on the current version so you always want comparisons to the current one so you would add an indicator for the alternative one design one and the alternative two design two okay so second choice choose the most common category here we have um house value is the response and the x variable includes type of roof and type of roof has three categories roll shingle and slate in this particular variable so the bar chart shows which one is the most common and you see that by far shingle is the most common type of roof in this data set. So what you would do is you would leave out the shingle so that you have the comparisons of roll to shingle, the left out one, and slate to shingle. Okay, and one other thing is that if you accidentally create indicator variables for all software categories, the software will just remove one, as we have seen earlier. It may just remove the first one it sees in the data, and you probably wanted to choose one that suits you, suits your interpretation rather than letting the software decide. For prediction, it doesn't matter, but for interpretation, it does. I mean, it makes interpretations more awkward. So here is a clicker question to predict house prices in Waterloo. We have some information and about the basement and the basement could either be non-existent, finished, partially finished or unfinished in this data set. And which category would emerge here as a natural baseline? Okay. This is the end of the current segment.